Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. So Dokkan tweeted out all of the EZA details, right? Um, the celebration, uh, essentially you could look at it in terms of four weeks, right? So week one was LR Cooler and Goku, which we're just about to sort of finish, right? Week two is going to be these three EZAs, EZA Tech Cooler, EZA Dynamic Goku, EZA Full Power Frieza. Um, I believe week three, starting on the 9th, this probably will be another batch of EZAs, um, and then sort of like celebration info for part two, right? So if we just compare it to the last one of these major celebrations anniversary, um, this is where uh, God Goku, God Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and Omega Shenron got their EZAs, right? Would be sort of like part two right here. I I could see maybe like STR Cooler and AGL Metal Cooler double EZing on the ninth. I, it seems ridiculous, but like I, I think that's what we could see. Um, and then... Uh, week four would be uh, Cooler and Goku, or Cooler and Goku and Vegeta, Metal Cooler and Goku and Vegeta, starting on the 16th. I don't know what would be after that, maybe more stuff, right? But I assume that's the way things could look. So uh, again, I would not be shocked if in a week we're getting easy details for potentially like AGL Metal Cooler or STR Cooler, stuff like that, right? All right, so we have Tech Final Form Cooler here. Now, they're going to have to build him in a very specific way because LR Final Form Cooler, I think, is in the discussion for best unit in the game. I would easily, easily put Vegeta and Trunks above Cooler, but Cooler is at least worthy of this discussion, I think. But the problem is Cooler pretty much has to go in slot two, right? Like, you're not... Uh, unless Cooler is fully built up and you have type advantage, you're not running Cooler in slot one against tough bosses, right? Like, when I say stuff like this, I'm not talking about, like, kitty Dokkan events, stuff like that. Y'all got it, right? Like, we're talking about the actual difficult content. Um, we're not going in there with Cooler and Slot 1. So, the issue here is that running this guy, you're gonna have him with no links if he's a floater, and if you've got LR Final Form Cooler in Slot 2. That's the problem. It's right, if Final Form Cooler was a Slot 1 character, then you could still run this guy, no issue, right? So, let's go ahead and see what we got right here. So, Leader skills irrelevant to typings, 80%. Doesn't really matter, though. Um, he gets 30% attack and defense for one turn. Supreme damage. And then he has a medium chance of stunning. Okay. Medium chance. <clears throat> Considering how crazy LR Final Form Cooler is, I <clears throat> feel like they could have maybe given this guy a high chance. Right? Two key, 150% attack and even start a turn. Two key is good. Um, additional has a medium chance of being a super. Okay. 70% chance to crit if the enemy is stunned. Okay. He gets another 20% attack and defense with each super attack performed. Stun the attacked enemy if there's an enemy whose name includes Goku. Alright, so this is a... This I'm this, um, taking as kind of like a super battle road or Dokkan Battlefield character is what we're looking at right here. Um, Sometimes in Dokkan Battlefield you could stun, right? And it could be a very effective strategy but for the most part this is like a character you want to run in super battle road take advantage of his stun does have the additional he can crit if the enemy is stunned which again you take advantage of in super battle road and then he has this this is actually really quite a good oh it's only once only he does the stun that doesn't really hurt nah that, that's not a big deal because this is a super battle road thing so i i don't this is not a bad restriction because it's a super battle road thing i mean i guess you could yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 doesn't. That's I don't. Why would he? I don't understand why he even has that. I, I guess. I mean, there could be opportunities to use it multiple times, but th this isn't really that bad. Once probably will be all you would need in one of these super battle road stages. I don't like this though, because it's like I, I I like what they did, right? Like let's you know build him towards super battle road. Sure, sure, sure. Right, because you can't. Uh, they, you know, doing something like that or making him a defense unit or a support unit or something like that is what they, because he's not competing with LR Final Form Cooler, right? Um, I feel like this is actually decent. It is, because it, just, like, stunning and Super Battle Road stages can be very helpful. I, I actually kind of like what they did here. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't know that he needed this, right? Um, because he's, you know, what seems to be geared more towards Super Battle Road, you don't need a character who needs to super attack multiple times um, in Super Battle Road, I don't think. But he's solid. 
this is helpful. I, I really plead with people to not underestimate how strong key can be on like a TUR and stuff like that, especially a character, you know, like in a super battle road stage like that. This is, this is good. This is really good. Um, that will help a lot. Right. And you got the stun right there. You got the stun right there. I like him. He's okay. He's not like, you know, anything super crazy, but you want to keep your expectations in check. This is a character to use in super battle road stages. Um, Shrunk's gonna space source for conquest, figure out bosses, brutal beatdown, metamorphosis, universal summit, fierce battle. His link set is the same as STR base cooler. Okay. So STR base cooler is this guy's best friend, sure. Uh these are the categories now. Movie boss, transformation boost, so we get bold lines, terrifying conquer. Target Goku, final trump card, space traveling warrior, planetary destruction. Final trump card is getting an extreme super battle road stage very soon. Within the next several months. I expect that to be a very difficult stage. This guy potentially could help in there. Um, stunning. Probably going to be a very effective tool. I, I could. Like for like a no item run. See myself actually using this guy over the LR cooler actually. Like if I'm going for a no item run. And it's just like I'm. I, like it's like okay I literally. We die anyway. Like unless we get the stun off. I, I could see that right actually. Although, what is the final trump card lineup looking like? Don't you fight, like, Turles? Is it the Booze? And I can't remember what the last fight is. I believe it, you fight Turles' squad and then the Booze, right? Oh, there, it's a couple away. We get Super Saiyan and Youth first. Yeah, Turles squad, the Booze, and then Goku Black and Zamasu. So... Cooler, uh, his stun from his passive can't be utilized here. Even though you've got two, you know, villain fake Goku characters right there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember no iteming this stage, I think, with STR Vegito two years ago, right? Okay, okay. Sure, sure. Cooler seems fine. He, he actually seems fine. Um, I, I like what they did, building him a stun for, like, Super Battle Road Battlefield type thing. Decent, decent. Um, we have the details as well for Namek Goku. I did a video yesterday going over the details there is nothing new that we would learn here. Um, a lot of people right now are sort of, like, trying to, like, make a movement, right, to um, see if he might be buff. L, he's good. This guy, Michael, doesn't really understand the point here. So, what they do with major celebrations, typically, like, anniversary, usually worldwide, these types of things, is this is where they'll sort of, like, bump power levels up. This Goku, is he just, like, good? Yeah, sure. But, like, I think he's sort of, like, on par with, like, Tech VB and Future Gohan and Turles and these characters. Like, he's just sort of vaguely in the mix when this character is kind of, like, way after those in terms of release date, right? This is a this is June of 2019 that this guy came out in, right? I really would have liked him to be better. And he fits the mold completely with these normal easy ATRs. Again, this is the thing that a lot of people don't get with these easy ATRs. They'll watch, like, a showcase of one of these characters or something like that and see the max performance, and they'll think that that's what they're always going to get, and that's not the case, right? Goku, now, here's the thing. I mentioned, I remember specifically saying that physical Super Saiyan 3 Gokus sometimes could be inconsistent, and people were very mad at me, but, like, I have so many runs against Omega and a lot of these bosses where I'm, like, in Super Saiyan 2 Goku on, like, turn 10 still. You know, you still need things to go your way to even transform into Super Saiyan, right? I don't think this base Goku's good enough. I think he's fine. I mean, his, his stats are going to be good, right? Like, he's going to have very high attack, very high defense, naturally. Um, he'll be okay, but he's not going to be as good as we need for the level of difficult content increase that they've given us. Now, you could say that they don't want these easy ATORs to be able to dominate, but... They don't, like, you can just balance them around being able to take these hits a little bit better rather than doing a million, billion, zillion, trillion damage, right? Every character's doing decent damage. All these characters, I feel like you tone their damage down a little bit and give them extra defense, and they're better characters, right? Defense ages better than offense in this game. It's been like this for a very long time. This is why Tech Ultimate Gohan is incredibly relevant, but STR Base Cooler is not. Right? You are not going into new difficult content with STR base cooler unless you're hiding him. Unless you're getting lucky and he's not getting attacked. Whereas Tech Ultimate Gohan can still go in front of major, like, cell max and survive and shit like that. Defense ages better than offense, right? This Goku is going to do insane damage. But, like, 
whoop de doo Like, who cares? Like, every unit does that. What's special is characters who can actually survive against these big-time bosses, right? So, first off, you need sort of decent RNG to transform into this guy. I don't want to say that this is like, oh my god, so tough to do, impossible. My point is that this is inconsistent. On a character who, when he gets really good, he stacks once he goes Super Saiyan, and then we know about the chance to guard, right? But it's a medium chance. So it's like you could, like, you know, Tiny Tim watching this video right now is going to go fight Cell Max, and he's going to transform to Super Saiyan 3 Goku turn 3, and then Goku's going to immediately activate his guard, and you're going to say, oh my god, he's so good. Everyone is crazy. He's so incredible. Or the other 80 people watching this, right, are going to not transform at all until, like, turn 7, or they transform, and then he doesn't proc his guard, right? Like, there's so many factors. All of these easy ATRs are like this. This is why I say this Goku is not bad. He's on par with other easy ATRs. Tech VB, SDR Rose, AGL Turles, SDR Ultimate Gohan. All of these characters, people only think about them at their best, right? When none of these characters are consistent. All of them are huge RNG fests. And it's very clear, because all of them are like this, this is exactly what Dokkan is going for, right? Um, but, like, HL Turles, if he transforms and, like, double stacks, is way different from what happens if he doesn't. SDR Rose gets a finishing blow. He's way better. With this Goku, it's transforming quickly, getting stacks off, getting your guard. This guy, if you transform early, this guy, and you get the guard off, he's god. This is, this is an insane character once he gets all this stuff off, but it's not a common thing, right? Again, you'll see a wanked situation for this Goku. You're not always going to get that when you're using this guy in the actual scary content, right? He can be good, but I, to the way I think to fix this guy, there's, I think, three changes I would make that I think would be really good. I would like this guy, I think, to stack defense even in base, right? I, it might be, a now we're talking about a lot here, but give him a stack, boom, right here. That That's step one. Step two, you up this to a high chance. And then step three is this is permanent when he guards. So it's like, Base Goku stacks, which is good, because then you don't get cocked if you can't transform easily. And then once you get the guard with Namek Goku, you keep it for the rest of the fight. That's, I think, what they should do. If they do do, do those, I guess, three things. I was about to say two, but it's three things. Um, this guy would be crazy, right? Because I remember, this was a thing years ago, back when this guy came out. I guess technically he's a May 2019 character. But back when this guy came out, it's like, this was when the Legendary Goku event was the meta. Like, characters needed to stack to be really good in that that content, right? And I remember many runs, challenge runs, where I am I just can't transform with this guy, and then I lose because I'm na not able to get the stacks in with Super Saiyan Goku, right? Like, th this, this was happened to me three years ago. So, it's something that could happen again. You just want to be aware of this. Again, I, I don't know that anyone is calling him bad. He's just on par. He's exactly like all these other easy ATRs, and I, I think they should have made him a step better. I think this guy, to me, he should be the clear number one easy ATR. I think with the changes I said, he probably would be. Would he be better than Future Gohan? Probably. Probably, because because it's like he, he could, you know, get this really nasty tanking like Future Gohan. But then, I mean, Goku is hitting so much harder than Future Gohan, right? Um, so, okay, so there's that. And then this guy, I mean, this guy is just not really going to be that good. He's going to do damage, and that's it. Um, no one really cares about this guy, though. This this guy is never... I, I, I hate the way his kit is designed. I guess one thing that hurts these two units' EZAs is the way their kits are designed are certainly not the craziest, right? I mean, chance to guard has never been super good. Um, but Goku does stack, right? If only he stacked in base. That's the one thing. So, let me know what you guys think of uh, LR Full Power Frieza. Namek Goku, and then uh, Final Form Cooler. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.